Now, before we start with the actual meat and potatoes of this video, I wanted to do some admin here. I wanted to address one person in particular who got really, really annoyed when I did my 200 rogues versus Windows 11. He basically said, well, it's not a valid video to make because I disabled Windows Defender. And I suppose that's a fair point if you were looking for a legitimate comparison or some sort of actual test. Now, in that video, I was more looking to see what would happen to the OS rather than whether Windows could stop itself getting infected. So this time what we're going to try is first of all, I'm going to take this file and I'm going to just copy it to the VM and uh, we have Windows Defender turned on. I just think I'd show you this, that we have real time protection on, we have cloud delivered, automatic sample, all of this stuff is all on uh, and it's got the security protection up to date. Everything is all good. Ransomware protection is all good. So we're going to try and copy this file to the desktop through VMware. And straight away, of course, ransomware was found. So yes, and I don't know why it detected it as Mac OS file coder. Is this the same file? So it is. That's interesting. But regardless, yes, Windows 11 will protect you from these old threats if you have Windows Defender turned on. But that's not what I want to do. So we've just turned it all off now. And the other thing I'm going to do is add an exclusion for the entire C drive, which I'm not even sure why they let you do this, but, you know. So let's go and we'll copy the file again. Now we can see we have our file, this is Crotton, let's run it as an admin, just to help it along a little bit here. And we see we get our first message, Anaya, way, And it is... Uh, asking me to email wordseer at notrix.de so we'll say okay and well it hasn't really done anything shocker but it has disabled our C drive and everything like that which is a classic payload that it would be doing under Windows XP we can still get to our disk drive so if we did need to repair this from the Windows installation we could do that task manager no task manager has been disabled You can't open run either. This operation has been cancelled due to restrictions in effect on this computer. Now Edge wasn't around back then, so what we might try and do is run Internet Explorer. And we can see that it tries to open up the shock page poetry.rotten.com slash lightning, and that doesn't work because the page doesn't exist anymore. So what we'll do is we will go ahead and restart as you would normally in Windows XP. Now note and we will see what the VM actually does. Now it hasn't managed to set a password or anything like that, but it has deleted our desktop icons, which is interesting. Now unlike back in the day, we still have our clock, we still have everything here. Can I do anything with this? Can I adjust the date and time? No. Can I? No. Can we get to settings? No. Nothing works. Can I get to Xbox? Yeah, I can. Can I get to paint? Yes. Can we do anything? Can I close this window? Yes. You couldn't do that in Windows XP. Can I? Okay, so this PC is completely gone now as an option, if we see that. Task manager is still gone. I don't think we can run anything. Can we open command prompt? Yes. Nope. Now I'd like to say Windows Defender is actually on now, by the way. Uh, it has for some reason disabled cloud delivered protection, all this sort of stuff. So we can turn this all back on. But the damage is done. Our exclusions are still here as the C drive. So I guess it doesn't know what to really do. Uh, can we open anything? We can open the clock. Brother, it's the clock. Are you serious? Anyway, we still have our news slop over on this side. So that's good, I guess. Can we open LinkedIn? Oh, thank God. We can't open LinkedIn. That's actually good. Uh, so we can't get to settings. If we open command prompt again, can we open control panel? No, we cannot. Can we open the C drive? My bad. Yes, we can, and we can see that we've got all of these files now, and we can see that this OOE is here for some reason. 
And it has made this Windows 91 folder, so we'll try and do that. Uh, where we go? Windows 91. Uh, and it's... I believe that's linking to Windows, which is interesting. Unless, can we go... Like that. And we can see there's nothing in here. This is zero bytes. So, okay. <laughs> Let's try and download Total Commander. So we can see all of these files here, all these folders. We have these random folders with nothing in them, I'd think. I certainly didn't make these. Windows 91 is empty. Our Windows folder seems to have gone. I think one of these is using dynamic links to to put stuff in here. I believe this is this is ransomware. So this is very early ransomware, by the way, guys. This is uh, 2005. So this is 20-year-old ransomware, as I'll probably put in the title. To answer the question, can 20-year-old ransomware screw up Windows 11? Yes, absolutely it can. Will it? Well, no, because Windows Defender is obviously going to find and delete 20 year old ransomware before you even get to run the thing. So hopefully I answered two questions for you guys. Do we have any restores available? Can we, we can't even get to the system settings. So funnily enough, I believe this is to do with how system settings works. So system settings is its own thing, but it does use control panel as the back end and that is blocked by Crotten. So we can try recovery, but that's blocked. C slash Windows slash System32 slash RST UI. That's System Restore, and we can open it. And we see. What's this? Windows Update? Yeah, sure. Let's try and restore to that point. We're getting very close to the moment of truth, I hope. So I was reading a little bit more on this as it was doing the restoration, and yes, it does primarily operate through the system registry, so. System restore completed successfully. The system has been restored to this date, OOE. That's not great. That's not a great sign. We, no, it didn't fix it. <laughs> it didn't fix it. Windows is still broken. Can we? No. So it's interesting that it didn't do anything. What we can do is undo some of these things manually. So if we go to GP edit, it might be blocked. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm going to test my system administrator skills because I do this for a job and I'll try and figure out how we enable some of this stuff. Uh, no, it's not in there. It's in here. My bad. Control panel. So, well, everything's not configured, which is interesting. So none of this stuff is being configured. Remove task manager. Is it task manager? It is, but it's not through here. Make it update the policy and see if we get task manager back. I don't believe it's going to run, but no, it's gone. Okay, it's still not there. So, I believe Crotten actually disables uh, changes through group policy, even though it uses group policy in the registry to infect the machine. Uh, but basically, nothing that I do is probably going to help here, because these are all set to non-configured. This is all of the stuff should be set to not configured. So, that's kind of a problem, and we still can't fix it. So, what we can, what we can try is we can open up Defender. This is the last ditch because I don't think it's going to actually work. And run a quick scan. I don't think that's going to make a difference because even if it finds the file, no new threats were found. See, so it has basically screwed up our computer and left it behind because it's no longer functional ransomware. The problem with ransomware though in general is that even if Windows deletes the ransomware, it doesn't really undo the damage. And we can see that the ransomware protection is on Although, I don't, it, what? Hold on, if it's off, it says no action needed. We can try and restart. There are currently no power options available. Absolute cinema. So to answer the question, can 
old ransomware hit Windows. Yes, it can. And why is the sound so crunchy? So it found threats again, but fine. Remediation incomplete. What was that? Oh, well, that's that was just the file itself. Threat blocked. Okay. Yeah, so the power options are disabled. Like, come on, guys. The reason this works, of course, is because Windows is built on legacy code and all programs sort of working in with one another to ensure legacy compatibility. The problem with legacy compatibility, of course, is that legacy compatibility is not just for good software that you want, it's for also bad software that you don't want. So yes, 20-year-old malware can still wreak havoc in Windows, but Windows Defender will stop it if you give it the chance. I just thought this was an interesting video to make, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all again next time.